it's April 2nd. What are we up to today? The snowy day. Today we're going to go into town and fix the generator, babysit a dog, and get some supplies. So why are we just not loading up in mom's mommy missile van and going to town? Because our road is not plowed and it's three miles of just unmaintained road. Right. So it's down at our neighbor's close to the parking lot. The van is? Yeah. Right. So we need to put this off to the my snow machine. It's got this little hitch. Okay, so up. the hitch there will hook up to our sled. It could be a little risky because there's usually supposed to be two of these right there and there. Mm -hmm. But there's only one, so I gotta drive up to Cautious. Oh, and who's gonna be riding in the sled? Mom. <laughs> and a generator. Okay, so we are going to hitch a ride three miles out to where the van is parked. Is that what you're saying, Har? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna hold this bolt. Before put... leaving, oh, we need to hook up the sled now to Harley's snow machine here. All right. No, I'm just screwed in. It was starting to melt and thaw, and all of a sudden, more snow. So these machines come in very, very handy. The snow machines, the sled here. And we got a backup sure pen. Okay, so we got a spare there. That's great. And this sled here is really great. It hauls a lot of supplies. So we purchased this sled probably about five years ago. And it has been an extremely handy sled to haul supplies when it is needed. And it's cool. It's got the skis here on the front part. And actually this was a homemade sled. Somebody did um, homemade this. Very handy. So it's got the skis throughout the bottom of the sled here, all the way to the back. Let me see how it's really. So, <clears throat> very handy tool to have here when you do live in quite a bit of snow. Now we're lifting up a heavy generator that Brady is going to let a customer borrow to keep her little baby chicks warm because her generator she has right now is not working and well, almost, almost so her little baby time. chicks are getting cold so Brady is going to let her borrow this yeah. so part of the supply run today is to bring her a generator so her baby chicks can stay alive and that's what you do up here you help each other out made it to our van three miles from the cabin. Harley did a great job driving. Super fun. Good experience. No, it was really fun actually. 
<clears throat> so now what we are going to do is brush the van off, get some snow off, unload our supplies here that need to go into the van, and then park this and make our way to town in the van. I'm telling you what, if you don't have a four-wheel drive car and you've got to get in and out, <clears throat> this is a slick little setup here with the sled and this um, snow machine here. What a lifesaver so you can get out and about and do your business in town. So let's get to cleaning off the van. Next step is we are going to get some snow off of the van. Look at this windshield. We're going to, we are going to be here a while getting all this ice to thaw on. You better get it on deep frost, Brady. My God, this is head. crazy. My God, this head. Look. April, and look at this. Holy smoke. Hi, Nana. Hi, Larry. So it's April 2nd. It's probably... 25 to 30 degrees out. It is cold enough to still be wearing bunny boots in April here in the state. It's crazy. Um, so we are getting the van cleaned off from snow. We're warming it up. Then we're going to be parking our sleds and heading into town to run our errands. So we'll leave once the van is all warm. <laughs> Okay, so we got here to the van and noticed the tire was running a little low. So one thing we do keep in here, which I highly recommend if you guys off-grid and leave your vehicles somewhere or even just in general, is this portable tire pump. So, so what we do is we the put the cord here. inside of the van. That, yeah, and that gives it power and then we can pump up the tire. See? Handy dandy and I highly recommend it. Okay, and another thing I wanted to show you guys is after the plow has pushed the snow, it has turned to solid ice. And this is what happens so usually when there's a lot of snow. This is why we like to push as much snow as we can while it's soft and fluffy because after a while, as more moisture comes down, it does turn to a solid brick of ice, and then you can't push this out of the way anymore. So I wanted to show you guys this today. Okay, so the tire pump did the trick, and now we are heading into town. <clears throat> okay, so we just pulled up to the dog that we babysit. We're going to head on inside, and we're going to give her some attention. Okay, and in town, after we just got done dog sitting, our next stop is the local post office. This is where we pick up our packages and our mail. So where we live off grid, they do not come and deliver mail. So we do need a PO box to have our mail sent to. And it looks like today we had some packages waiting for us. That's always exciting. Okay, next on the list is stopping by the bank, which is right across from the post office. So in this little complex, um, there is a bank, there's a little medical complex, and there is a small deli. So this is like the local little bank here in the town of Willow. So that's where we're at. Brady's inside. And after this, we're going to go get a cup of coffee. All right, let's go to our next location. Okay, so we are pulling in here to a local coffee shop, Lead Dog Espresso, and we're gonna get some coffee before we go up back to the cabin. Okay, so we have hot chocolates coming for the kids here. <laughs> Thank you. Super. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so before we headed up the hill, I wanted to show you these really cute signs here on this coffee 
Stand Willow is known for its mushing history here in the state of Alaska. So I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of some of their really unique signs. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with us for the day. We are heading up to the cabin. We will see you guys on the next video.